Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Dom and we're here to talk about unusual options activity. All right, let's kick it out with this disclaimer. So, uh, disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. The statements made in this program are solely the opinion of the show and are not specific inducement to make an investment. One must firm their own due diligence to realize that all investments carry risk. There's no guarantee of profit. All right, everyone. So first one I want to bring up is Twitter. Uh, now they had a uh, analyst day meeting I think uh, a few weeks ago, and they were coming out with uh, some crazy uh, revenue forecast projections. And you know, as of recently, it just seems like you know Twitter, Snap, and Pinterest have just become uh, these platforms where advertise. They seem like nicer platforms, you know, less hostile platforms. You know, where advertisers want to put their uh, ad dollars to work. You know, if you look over at Facebook, you can kind of tell by the stock performance there. You know, I just think that people are looking at Facebook, especially the advertisers, as kind of more of a hostile platform. So you know, I feel like advertisers are moving away from Facebook and moving to Twitter, Snap, and Pinterest, and you can see that reflected in the uh, price action and the stock because uh, Facebook has been in the toilet uh, for a while and I definitely do not own that stock. So I guess I'm a little biased in that uh, perspective. So as you can see here, we're going to talk about Twitter here. So uh, now there are some huge option volume trade in these uh, October 19th, 70 strike calls. There's more on the, uh, uh, sorry, March 19th, uh, 70 calls, March 19th, 75 strike calls. There's also some good volume in uh, these April 9th, 70 strike calls, 6,000 trade, open interest of about 57. So, you know, I was poking around at some of these other ones. You know, April 16th, there is some good volume here. Uh, and oopsie. I ended up getting, in, actually there was some nice volume here in these January 2022 90 strike calls. So I went down to the time sales and I was able to uh, pick up some nice orders in there. All right, so let's check out the chart, everyone. So, uh, you know, as you, as you can see here, Twitter has ran from about 45 all the way up to 80. This is when they had earnings. This is when they uh, had that analyst meeting that I was talking about. Ouch, just pricked myself or something. And yeah, you know, the stock, you know, I really wasn't watching it too much. You know, I kind of got caught up in this, you know, kind of growth uh, technology sell off here. Traded from about 80 down to about 62. And, you know, we got in at about 68 today. Uh, yes, 68 or so. Uh, so, you know, definitely not a bad uh, place to be getting in Twitter. You know, this is a 2022 option. So, you know, we have plenty of time for this one to work. So, you know, I definitely do like going out further. Some of those uh, April 9th options look good as well. So, I think April 16th. Those uh, March 19th ones are definitely too short term for me, though. So, uh, next one I want to bring up is Semex. <laughs> So as you can see here, I have a position in these uh, July 7 strike calls. There's some big volume and uh, not really too big in these March 19th 8 strike calls. There's some nice volume here in these April 16th. Uh, uh, April 16th 8, 8 strike calls. You know, this thing does trade a fair amount of options. You know, there is a good amount of open interest here. Not very many puts whatsoever. So a lot of people are, you know, that have this open interest are definitely betting, you know, that the stock is going higher because, you know, there's a heck of a lot more calls owned than puts. And you, know, you can just look over here at the open interest here. There's only about a thousand. You know, same deal here with these calls here, you know, 15,000 here. So, you know, that's also another good uh, thing as well. You know, when you're looking, you know, at this, uh, time and sales here and you see all this open interest in some of these uh, calls but you know not a whole lot of open interest and you know some of these uh, puts over here and you know there's pretty pretty good amount of options traded there you know I saw uh, some orders in these July uh, seven strike calls you know these these April ones definitely could be good too but I definitely do not mind giving you know paying a little extra money and you know giving myself a little extra time in this one so let's check out the chart for Semex so this is a uh, this is a uh, cement industrial stock. So they do uh, mostly cement in uh, uh, Poland, Mexico. Uh, I'm, I'm sure they import into into the uh, United States as well. So this is a, a value uh, uh, a value stimulus infrastructure play here. So as you can see here, you know you can kind of tell these value stocks and material stocks because they had a huge run up into 2008, and then you know after that crash, you know this thing literally traded down from 40 down to five bucks. You know, it has some really nice support here at this $5 level, but, you know, we're all the way up to the $7 level. So, if you know, you zoom in here, you know, this thing, value stocks have underperformed for quite a while. And, you know, with interest rates going higher, and especially with the stimulus getting passed, and, you know, hopefully we get uh, some 
nice infrastructure packages coming up here. You know that you know this capturing it with this July call is probably not enough time for you know these infrastructure plays. But, you know once pe you know once the uh, politicians start talking about infrastructure, you know that'll just bring these stocks higher, and they already are starting to talk about it. And something probably will get passed. So, so, you know, the optimism is going to get start to get baked into these infrastructure stocks pretty early, in my opinion. I think it's already starting. So, yeah, you know, this thing's trading at about $7 here. You know, it's, it's had a hell of a run. You know, people are always like, all oh, these value stocks have had such a huge run. But it's like, look where this thing was. You know, I'm not saying it's going to, I'm not saying it's going to make it back to this 40 level. But, you know, this thing has underperformed since like 1999 it looks like when it went public this thing has been dead money for so long these stocks are extremely under owned and you know it's just a time you know it's just a you know time coming up here before you know people start rotating into these value plays especially with rising interest rates uh you know some of these technology stocks getting sold up so thanks for everyone who's been subscribing i really i really appreciate it make sure you keep the subscribing up make sure you leave a comment down below if you've got any questions and we'll see you in the next one everyone